This week in Dominic's Country Fresh Produce Department, you'll find some appealing savings on golden ripe bananas, just 25 cents a pound. Make your next checkup the best yet with Crest Toothpaste, now available in tubes and pumps, just one thirty-nine each. And in Dominic's Dairy Case, the savings are exceptional on USDA Grade A Fresh Large Eggs, just 39 cents a dozen with $5 purchase at Dominic's, the only food store this good. that Dominic's will be closing at 72 locations throughout the Chicagoland area, including three here in Naperville, has loyal shoppers frustrated. Will this have an impact on the $600 billion grocery industry? NCTV 17's Kevin Maycheck finds out. Joanne Corazelli is sorry to hear that her Dominic's will soon be shutting its doors for good. 
feel like they're really friendly at Dominic's. It's a clean place. The food doesn't expire quickly. It's a good place to go to get our food. The kids like it here. So we're a little disappointed that it's going to be closing. Come next year, the supermarket giant will no longer exist in Chicago or the suburbs, as company officials say these locations are the worst performing stores of the hundreds across the country. The closings have the potential for significant lost dollars to the city of Naperville. If the stores were to close and those sales did not move to uh, other grocers within Naperville, the impact would be approximately $600,000 in lost sales tax revenue to the city. However, I, th I believe that will be mitigated by people just opting to shop somewhere else. In recent years, more and more discounters like Target, Meyer, and Walmart have entered the grocery industry, joining supermarket chains like Jewel and Whole Foods and independent grocers like Casey's. So with dozens of places in the mix, how do Naperville residents choose where to shop? I tend to gravitate towards stores that um, are easy to get in and out of because I'm familiar with the setup. So that is kind of what guides me. Other consumers opt for stores that offer more than just food to put on the table. People are looking for great customer service. They want the whole package, I, honestly. I think that they, um, they want that great customer service. They want value. They want quality products. As for Casey's, they welcome the growing competition. It, I think it's healthy. Uh, it, you know, that's, that is a, 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 a testimonial to how the industry is doing. Still, the store manager and shoppers alike sympathize with the roughly 6,600 folks expected to be laid off as a result of Dominic's leaving the market. I feel badly for the employees that are going to lose their positions. Um, that is one of the stores that I frequent um, because it is very familiar to me and I'm just, I'm very sad for the community. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17. All Dominic stores are expected to close in early 2014. No word yet on what will replace them, but city manager Doug Krieger hopes it will be other food stores.